Hey, what's up, YouTube? CJ Cardio, looking rough as I don't know what, but uh, just wanted to show you guys what we got going on. So, remember I told you guys about me getting another van to haul up here and let me do my thing. So, I got another one up here. Uh, a van der Hall Blackjack. I think it's a van der Hall Venice Blackjack because I'm still learning these things. But I got another van der Hall up here. Uh, this one we did. Nothing crazy off the wall. He just wanted a basic, something nice sound, sound good. He don't need no competition no loud speakers or nothing like that. He just wanted something that sounded good. Um, we basically done. Sounds good. The enclosure turned out awesome. So let me turn around and show you guys. So this is the black jack. We did the focals in the whole vehicle. Don't mind that on the floor. And boom, that's the enclosure. That's it. Put the focal logo. Nothing, nothing too fancy. He said I didn't have to go too fancy with it, man. Just do something basic. So that's what we did. Um, the one thing I learned with this Venice is we just did a caramel not too long ago. This rear, this thing is not the same because I basically whatever enclosure I do, I make sure I keep the um, blueprints and the schematics for the old one. And with this one, man, I went to go build a box. Well, not even build a box. I took the faceplate that I got over there from the last one and just put it up to the thing. I'm like, whoa, 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 this, this, this thing is not the same. So one thing I noticed is the seat belts. Where the seat belts meet at on here versus how they meet on a caramel, they sitting all the way up here. On a Venice, they down here. Then I've also heard of like another version where they got a bar going straight down the middle. It's like, man, they got so many versions of these uh, Vanderhalls. It's crazy. So um, now I know I can't mass produce subwoof enclosures for them because they all seem to be different. So this one, um, just a single 10. Uh, you really, I try to do more than one sub, but it's like, it's just the space. Like, I even know it's like the gas tank on this thing is way smaller than the one on a uh, Karma. Like, everything in the rear seems to be shrunken in more because I made a I made a uh I made an enclosure a box for it and tried to push it in and it's just not this but it, on the inside the body it just kept hitting against the it wouldn't even go all the way back because it would just keep heat, hitting up against the um the what's the name and like for this for this one I had to build the sides the back I couldn't put the front on I had to maneuver it in there and then once it was in there then put the front on it's like I kind of had to like make the box inside of the actual, like while it was in there, I had to put the front of it on because you couldn't get it past that bar right there. So from jump, I had I had this going all the way over and the seat box was going to just sit up in there. But the problem I had with that was I wouldn't have been able to, to tighten these bolts down because I actually had to flip these around. I wouldn't be able to tighten those bolts down without... Uh, it would have been no way for me to tighten them both down. So if it being like that, I could tighten this down and put the faceplate on. But the, doing it the other way, I would, it would have been no way for me to put the faceplate on with this part still on and then try to tighten those bolts. So like I said, we did like a basic system. Uh, it's just four focals. We got one here. And then we got another one up there. It sounds good. Like, it, it, it sounds good. This 10 over here is hitting. That thing, that thing is definitely hitting. Um, so, the only thing we got left to do is... I got this hooked up to a power supply. I got a Sony GS... XM GS6 DSP. I got that hooked up to a power supply. And just got it. Uh, I'm probably going to put it behind the seat right there. Um, the logo, that turned out excellent. I didn't tell you guys, but I, I bought a laser uh, about three weeks ago. So I have a laser machine now, so I was able to cut out that logo. Instead of the old days, I had to sit there and trace it, and it would look all, well, let me show you. So I'm gonna show you guys. You see how crispy and sharp that looks? Let me show you the one I had, I had the eyeball, oh, before I had a laser. <laughs> That's how that thing look, looking about, yeah. But, um, 
That's the one we did. And man, it turned and man, it, it it turned out well though. It hits good. And like I said, he's he's not one of these younger kids who want their stuff to be heard ten blocks away. He just wants something nice sounding. I did a reverse mount sub. You can't see the actual bolts to the sub, but man, that thing turned out beautiful. This is what I love to do is that custom work, man. I'll, I'll I'll take this work over doing any type of somebody coming in wanting a stereo put in. I'll take this 30 times out the week because I just love putting stuff together and just making it uh making it shine. Oh, yeah, that's a sneak peek of what we got coming up next. Old school beam station wagon. Doing a system in that, custom enclosure, everything. But it turned out well, man. It sounds good. Um, another thing <laughs> I found out, I believe the blackjack is like the bare bone base one. So these panels, I am going to be making them soon when my, so this is a story with the laser. I know it's supposed to be a video about the van, though, but just the laser I got, I got it off somebody, um, it was brand new. Um, they didn't know how to work it or whatever, so. Like I said, I had it for about two weeks. I used it. The first day I got it here, I was using that thing like it wasn't nothing. Making everything. I was in here making uh, speaker brackets. Everything. I made these. What I had. I had a, uh, as y'all can see, I sell a lot of focals. But I had a uh, Nissan Altima come up in here. I had to draw out the brackets on Corral Draw. And that's how they turned out. And that speaker, or well, something similar to that one, went into the other one. And, man, it sounded incredible. But, yeah, long story, I bought that laser off somebody. Um, she didn't know how to work it, so I bought it from her. It was brand new. She didn't even attempt to try to use it. So I used it for, like, a couple couple days. Then I was like, man, this thing cool, man. But a 12 by 20 bid, I can't do nothing. So, So I went online. Ordered me a hundred watt, twenty four by forty. So I've got a. I've been checking the track and the thing here. I was actually hoping to get it today. That thing about the bed of it is probably about the size of this whole machine. So like pieces like that, I might be able to draw it and go ahead and just put it, cut it on the laser and be done with it. So. But yeah, man, turned out good. Uh, we got a couple more we're gonna do. A couple more coming. Um, I'm starting to get a feel for these things, but like I say, man, every time one come in here, the changes is just killing me because they differ every damn time. So I'd rather do caramels. I'm going to put it like that. Caramels, I'll, I'll, I'll take them 10 times out the week over these Venices because that was a pain in the butt. But that's how it turned out. Let me know in the comments how y'all guys think it looked. And that's it. Next thing to do, you put the C in, mount the amp, and that's it. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. I answer all your questions, man. CJ Cardio, we out.